What's up, Luna Classic Army? The trial of Duquan and Terraform Labs has begun, and Judge Super Super Old Guy has issued some instructions. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about, hey guys, before we get started, make sure that you're signing up for Weeks. Weeks is down below. This is how you burn tokens, and they burn more tokens than Binance if you guys just go trade. I've only got about 20 signups, 25 signups right now, but there's thousands of people that are watching these videos every day. Guys, we need your help. If you want to be part of Luna Classic History, if you want to be part of this, then you got to sign up at Weeks Official down below in the description. Start trading today. You want to make an impact? This is how you make an impact on this chain right now. Now back to the show. A little price action. We're going to look at some charts real quick. I'm going to give you a quick update on what's going on. Yesterday, I gave you my repeg proposal idea. I haven't seen anybody pick it apart yet. I know there's flaws in it that I'm not seeing because I'm a monkey here. You know, I, I you know, I, what I'm doing is trying to simplify the process so that it looks cool and yeah, we'll try to work it out. So you let me know what you think in the description down below. Let's kick this off. Before I get started, though, if you like this type of content, hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content, and let's kick this thing. All right, guys, preliminary instructions have been issued to the jury, and Judge Jed Rakoff, 82-year-old octogenarian, this is the only living person who was around uh, when the Howie test was invented. Uh, <laughs> And according to the SEC, Terraform has misled investors by falsely claiming that Shy Corporation linked to Terra's co-founder utilized TFL technology for its operation, a charge that Terraform Labs vehemently denies and will show proof that it never happened. And this is, look, this is being led by, uh, we've, if there's anything that we've seen, the SEC has poor forensics so far. We can at least attest to that. They have no idea what they're doing on this blockchain. Uh, and, and they continue to take these big L's for this. Now, the reason that I bring this up is because Judge Jed Rakoff tends to ignore that in favor of whatever the SEC wants. This guy could not cuck for them any harder if he tried. Moving on, price action. Uh, there is something out here. Daily Coin, Terra Luna Classics, $1 Dream. Is Chain Upgrade the Catalyst? It, it's not. Uh, and then there's another one over here. Terra Tokens Display Bullish Sentiment. Um, uh, so th there's a lot of different stuff going around, right? There's a lot of uh, different in the background sort of excitement that people are feeling, and that probably leads to a good pump in price action. We're not there yet, but we're getting very, very close. When we start to really talk about repeg and people start to really see some ideas, that's when this thing is going to go parabolic. I assure you, we're getting closer. Uh, also, uh, we're talking about cross chain swaps over on Commonwealth and that USTC repeg proposal contest. Um, and then uh, trying to create a permanent devs position within the chain. Now, this is not something that they're actually trying to do. This is just a proposal here uh, that could go from, uh, from, from just a discussion phase into governance for a vote. As of right now, uh, the only vote is to repeal Prop 12033. Not going to win. Look at this. You can see right now uh, this thing is not passing, not even close to uh, any excitement for that. So. Nobody really cares about what's going on over there. So uh, let's talk about price action. Let's see where we're going. Uh, and then, uh, you know, maybe we can kick this off and, and figure it out. I made some changes to the chart so you guys can see it. Uh, let's go. All right, guys. Uh, so we came through that level. I told you that's probably going to be one of those areas, right? And of course, what happened? Uh, we didn't get accepted into the range. We got rejected right off of it. I've simplified this chart just a little bit for you right now to show you that the next big point of control is up here in this range. You can see that from what I was just showing you right now. Uh, as I zoom in just a little bit, you see we're going from one point of control. We're kind of in the middle. The next point of control right up here at about 18, 1900. So I expect that pretty soon uh, we're going to see a nice little move into that range right there. Uh, volume profile, the MACD down here is showing a crossover and bullish sentiment right now, but it's not leading to a move into price action. Now, when you see that, that probably means you've got some downside momentum uh, that's going to take place. Because You saw this green little spike down here, uh, if you will. Let me pull this up for you. Uh, you can see we had this nice little spike in, in inflow, but it didn't lead to price action. We've got a nice little pump going, but the but the the RSI, we're not in that range yet. Uh, we're still kind of low. So not a lot happened uh, when we had that opportunity and it didn't result in big price action. So uh, probably come down just a little bit more, maybe even retest this 14 level uh, or 
uh, maybe we get rejected and we just kind of stick around this 1500 level. It may not come down at all because it didn't go up when we had that move. So now that's getting and preparing us for that RSI to really start to send. Uh, and when the RSI starts to show some strength, then we're going to see a big, big, big move. And I do think that, that move comes up into this 1819 range one more time. I think that's the next big move. Uh, also for volume, again, volume continues to go down. Market cap continues to go down. Same thing with USTC. Volume continues to go down. Market cap. You know, we've we've gone. Uh... Cryptonomy.finance just launched a research section. So make sure that you go check that out today. Learn a little bit more about crypto that you may not have known before. If you are a corporate client, you can have a relationship manager uh, and a lot of customer support, superior OTC services, and institutional tools that will help you in your venture. Also, if you sign up for the VIP course, you can get in touch with high-touch wealth management personnel and a lot of different people and personalized information as you need in order to successfully navigate this crypto. Also, if you look at my moves right now, you can see that I'm earning over 106 Solana on my last staking. My Tether, I'm going to earn 1,670 on my staking so far. Uh, you can see there's some of these have, I've earned $784. I can't cash out for a while, but uh, I've earned 784 so far. And then in the launch pool, guys, if you haven't checked the launch pool out, you've got to check the launch pool. Look at these ROIs that I'm getting right now. It's fantastic. Uh, 20 X on K9 Finance, 7X on Weave, on Block Jerk. Uh, if you get if you put a stake into this system right here, it gives you a fantastic amount of rewards. Go check this out today. We're not on everybody's mind right now, and some of the money got tired and they went to go do their own thing, if you will. So, and that's the way that it works. That's the way that it always happens. So uh, they will come back, and in about three or four days, we're going to have another big Binance burn, and we're going to have a Weeks burn. So if you haven't signed up for Weeks yet, go sign up in the description down below. certainly helps me out. I've only had like 20 people sign up, and we've got thousands of people who are watching. If you want to contribute and you want to help the Luna Classic blockchain, if you want to be part of it, then you got to join Weeks, and you got to start trading on Weeks and start contributing to that burn. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's not financial advice but I'm always right.